Thank you, Dave. Good afternoon, and thank you to everyone for, who've joined us today to celebrate the launch of the Trump administration's National Water Reuse Action Plan. I would like to extend a special welcome to Secretary Bernhardt, Secretary Purdue, White House CEQ Chairman Mary Newmeyer. I'd also like to thank Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt for his support as well. Unfortunately, the governor's not able to join us today, but he sent regards via, via a video address, which we will see in a, in a few minutes. Um, but I especially want to thank Dave and the whole water team here at EPA, all the career staff that have put a lot of time and effort into this plan. Thank you. And I'd like to also thank the career staff at the other federal agencies and departments that have worked on this as well. Thank you very much, too. As many of you may know, this year, EPA celebrates its 50th anniversary. And we deemed February to be our water month. So it is fitting that we are ending our month today with the National Water Reuse Strategy. Thank you. Um, since 1970, our agency has contributed billions of dollars to help communities across our nation address their drinking water and wastewater needs. And yet, water scarcity is a real threat to our way of life in many communities across America. When we look at places like Cape Town, South Africa, where day zero looms, we quickly realize that it's possible for a major city to literally completely run dry. Their infrastructure is, quite simply, buckling under the weight of demand. Many places in California experience similar water restrictions to that of Cape Town. If we wait for day zero in America to modernize our water infrastructure or seek alternatives to the use of fresh water, it will be too late. Under President Trump, our nation is looking toward innovative solutions to tackle ongoing water issues. An estimated $700 billion are needed to modernize U.S. water infrastructure over the next 20 years. My agency oversees the implementation of the Water Infrastructure Finance and Innovation Act, or WIFIA, which established a federal loan program to accelerate investments in water infrastructure projects. In just three years, we have closed on 16 loans, totaling over $3.5 billion to help improve water quality for more than 20 million Americans. Combined with other federal funding sources, these projects will help finance over $8 billion for water infrastructure projects and create over 16,000 jobs. Last year, we invited 38 new projects in 18 states to apply for WIFIA loans totaling $6 billion. These loans would help finance over, 20, over $12 billion in water infrastructure investments and create up to 200,000 jobs. And we have seen even greater success when agencies collaborate on programs and initiatives, such as EPA's Memorandum of Understanding with the Bureau of Reclamation to support our country's water reuse and recycling projects using our combined resources to make each federal dollar go further. One of our earliest WIFIA loans was awarded to Orange County, California Water District to help finance an expansion of its reputable groundwater replenishment system. This system makes Orange County more resilient to drought and provides a reliable and sustainable water supply. Since the groundwater replenishment system came online more than a decade ago, it has produced more than 258 billion gallons of clean water. The incredible system that has been built by the Orange County Water District and Orange County Sanitation District serves as a shining example for communities across our nation. Through our National Water Reuse Action Plan, we hope to assist more communities realize their water reuse goals. In November, I had the distinct honor of speaking at the Water Technology and Environment Control Conference in Israel to discuss our priorities and progress in the U.S. I also had the opportunity to learn from our Israeli counterparts on the immense success their nation has had with its own water systems. Israel is a world leader in water reuse reclaiming, it says here, 87% of collected wastewater in 2015, but I will tell you I met with four different ministers in Israel and all four gave me a different percent. So they re reclaim somewhere between 85 and 92%, depending on which minister you ask. <laughs> in contrast to the United States, we are reclaiming only 6%. 
So we have a lot to learn here. Our National Water Reuse Action Plan will help our country take meaningful strides to make our country's water supplies more res resilient and sustainable and secure for future generations of Americans. To be clear, this is a national action plan, not solely an EPA plan. This initiative began in October of 2018 when President Trump directed EPA and other federal agencies to invest in technology and reduce regulatory burdens to enable broader scale use of recycled water as part of the presidential memorandum on promoting the reliable supply and delivery of water in the West. It also directed agencies to create programs that encourage innovation and development of technology that improve water management. Forty of our states anticipate some freshwater shortages within the next decade, and all levels of government have a responsibility to ensure that Americans have access to reliable sources of clean and safe water. Water reuse is a strategy that can provide alternatives to existing water supplies across the nation to enhance water security, sustainability, and resilience. The benefits of water reuse can support our communities and economy, as demonstrated by the diverse partners joining us today, including representatives from agriculture, industry, water utilities, and environmental organizations. Today's announcement reflects nearly 2,500 individual engagements on water reuse challenges and opportunities. It also reflects consideration of public comments from a diverse set of stakeholders, 12 water reuse federal partner meetings, engagement with state and tribal partners, and lessons learned from two extraordinary convenings hosted by the Water Reuse Association with the Family of Water Sector Associations. Our National Water Reuse Action Plan exemplifies coordinated federal leadership, industry-wide cooperation and collaboration, and accountability to drive progress on water reuse today. It identifies 37 specific actions across 11 strategic themes that will be implemented by 25 unique action leaders with more than 80 collaborating partners. Importantly, the plan includes more than 200 specific implementation milestones. 50 years from now, when EPA celebrates its centennial, I have no doubt that this action plan will be looked back on as one of the greatest cross-agency achievements for our nation. I'd like to thank the President for his leadership on this important issue, and I congratulate everyone here for their collaborative efforts to advance the National Water Reuse Action Plan. I want to thank you all very much. I also want to thank you for the applause. I testified at a budget hearing this morning, and I got a much better reception here this afternoon. Thank you all for being here. I'll turn it back over to Derek.